Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my dear students? Hope all you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also part. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. This is Amiruddin, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, Bonding Shift, National Idea of English Version School. Dear students, today I am going to take a math class for the students of class 6. And our today's topic is chapter 1, basic discussion. This is lecture number 1. This is the first math class for 2021 session. Okay, let us start our class. Our today's topic, chapter 1, basic discussion. The name of first chapter is natural number and fraction. From the name of the chapter, you can guess that this chapter is related to number counting, number expressing, and place value. Dear students, for expressing any number in mathematics, we use total 10, these 10 digits. These 10 symbols, we can say, these symbols also we can say, digits. Here, first 9 digits is called significant digit. And last one is zero. Using these ten digits, we can express any large number. For expressing pi, we use this symbol. For expressing eight, we use this symbol. For expressing three, we use this symbol. Now, the students, we want to express another number ten, but there is no any symbol for expressing ten. Now, how can we express ten? For expressing ten. We have to use two digits from here and we have to put two digits in two places. Here two places exist. This place called ones place and this place called tens place. For expressing ten, we have to put lowest significant digit that means one in this place and we have to put zero in ones place. Now, if we want to express 11, that means the number 1 more than 10, we have to put 1 in 1's place instead of 0. If we want to express 12, then instead of 1 in 1's place, we can put 2 in this place. And similarly, if we want to express 90, we have to put 9 in 1's place instead of Two. Now, if we want to express 20, which digits we will use in one place? There is no other any digits get up the map. So, we have to change the digits of tens place. That means, instead of 1 in tens place, we have to put 2. And for expressing 20, we have to write 0 in tens place. For expressing 21, instead of 0, we have to put 1. If we want to express 22, instead of 1, in 1's place we have to put 2. And in this process, we can express the number up to 99. If we want to express 100, then we have to take another place. Which name is 100 place. And in mathematics, for expressing the large number, normally we use total 8 places. The name of the place are 1's place, 10's place, 100's place, 1000's place, Ozuk's place, Lark's place, Nizuk's place, and Crow place. The digits of 100 place, sorry, the digits of 1000's place and Ozuk's place normally we will we will take together and read as thousands. That means if we take two in Ozu's place and three in thousands place, we will not read it two Ozu's and three thousands. Rather, we will say it twenty-three thousands. Similarly, the digits of Lark's place and Nizut's place will take together and read as La. Such that if we take 7 in Nizut's place and 3 in Lark's place, we will not read, as, read it as 7 Nizut's and 3 Lark's. We will read it 
73 lots. Okay, now the students see a meter wall number. It is a large number and 3 crore 26 lakh 74,338. Now, we want to write this number using digits. That means we write it in numbers. Here, 3 crore. So, in crore place, we have to write 3. And that 26 lakh. 26 lakh, that means last place we have to see. We have to write 6 and in Nizuk's place we have to write 2 and at the time of reading we will not read as it as 2 Nizuk 6 lakhs. We will read it 26 lakhs. Now 26 lakhs that's 74,000. 74,000 that means in 1000 place we have to write 4 and in Ozu's place we have to write 7. 74,000, then 338. That, that means in 100th place we have to write 3. 338. And 10th place we have to write 3. And in 1th place we have to write 8. That means the number is 3, 2, 6, 7, 4, 3, 3, now the students we will give comma in this number. In national system, for giving comma, we have to count from right side. That means from one's place. And first comma will come in after three digits. Then after every two digits, we have to give comma. That means one, two, another comma will come here and Again, you have to count another two digits. One, two, so another comma will come here. And if we can give comma in proper, posi uh, proper position, it makes the number, we can read the number very easily. 3 crore 26,000, sorry, 26 lakh 74,000 and 300. 38. This is the national, national system. We have already learned the national system. Now, dear the students, we will learn international system. In international system, for expressing any large number, we use total six places. The name of the place is ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, millions place, and billions place. Here the students you have to keep mind that in thousands place there are three places exist. Millions place also three places exist and in billions place also three places exist. That means in thousands place we can put three digits, in millions place also we can put three digits and in billions place also we can put three digits. After filling the all three places of thousands place we can go millions place and after Filling up the all three place of million place, we can go billions place. Now the students here one number written two billions one hundred three million forty six thousand nine hundred five. Now I write this number in numbers. That means using digits and. At the time of writing it, I will follow international method. Here, 2 billions, that means in billions place, we have to write 2. These two place in the blank. And then, 103 million, that means in millions place, we have to write 103. 103. Then, 46 thousands, 46, in thousands place we have to write 46, 46, here one place is blank, so we have to put 0 in this place. Now, 
905. So in the hundreds place you have to write 9 and in ones place you have to write 5 and in tens place you have to write 0. So the number is 2, 1, 0, 304, 304, 69, 0, 5. 210304 Now we will give comma. In international system, after every three digits, we have to give comma. That means 1, 2, 3, 1 comma we come here. And another comma also we come in after three digits. 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3. In national system, first comma will come after three digits. But another comma will come after every two digits. But in international method, every comma will come in after every three digits. So it will be 2 billion, 103 million, 46,905. Now, the students, <coughs> we want to convert 1 million to national <coughs> method. 1 million is the international method and if we convert 1 million to national method then what will be? 1 million is equal to 10 lakh and 1 billion is equal to 100 crore. Okay the students, we have finished our today's class. I hope you have understood today's class. I hope you will get your new book very soon. So you should start in the study and thank you for watching the class. Allah Hafiz.